y'all not about to tell me nothing you not about to sit up here and tell me this ain't my real her you nice i didn't know y'all were doing it like this Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this unit and y'all, I'm so, 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 so hyped for this unit because y'all, when I tell y'all, y'all gonna fall in love with this unit like me, you definitely gonna do it. So, this is their 13 by 4 lace frontal wig. This is their 24 inch kinky curly wig. It's 150% in density and as you guys can see, you can wear it glueless, but y'all, look at this lace. Y'all gotta wait till I put it on, but this lace is giving what it's supposed to give. So now I'm just going to go in and bleach and ask her. So these are the products that I use to do so. Taking a butter knife, I'm just going to spread that mixture all over the lace. I normally like my consistency of bleach to be a little bit thicker than toothpaste. I feel like it gets the job done. Um, I don't really have proper measurements for this. I've been doing this so long, so I just pretty much eye it. However, I do let it sit on for about 15 to 30 minutes, but I keep checking it in between the time because depending on the developer that you use and if you, you know, cover it with foil tightly or not, it can process faster or slower. So just keep an eye on it. Next, I'm taking my Star Trek Silver Foil and I'm just gonna place this on the inside of the lace and I'm also gonna place this on the outside of the lace as well. I wanna make sure that heat is trapped underneath there, which is gonna help my knots process. Now I'm using my Blue Shampoo. This is the brand that I use and I'm gonna use this to tone the knots as well. So look at those curls. Do y'all not see those curls? This looks super, super good. I am obsessed, okay, obsessed. Now I'm going in to detangle the hair. I rinsed out the shampoo and all that good stuff. So now I'm just going to go in and wet the hair again because, you know, curly hair dries pretty, pretty fast to me or certain types of curly hair dries fast. But I'm going in with my Aussie Miracle Conditioner and I'm just going to saturate the entire unit with this moisturizer. If you guys are not familiar with working with your own curly hair or if you're not used to, you know, curly hair in general, it needs moisture. Now, when I received this unit, it did not need any type of moisture. It was nice and soft and it was very, the curls was very, you know, juicy. But if you're going to be wearing curly hair, you need to know that your curly hair needs moisture. If you're having problem with it being tangly or breakage or feeling super dry, it's because it lacks moisture so please make sure you are properly moisturizing your hair okay this is the wig when it is dry okay this is what it's giving us this is what she looked like okay i'm about to put her on but this is her drying i actually love 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 this texture oh yes the beauty the beauty y'all i'm obsessed i'm obsessed but look how <laughs> look how natural this looks though look at this y'all cannot tell me that this ain't my freaking hair y'all cannot tell me that this is not growing tf out of my scalp when it come through you nice you nice. I didn't know y'all were doing it like this. This looks so freaking real, y'all. That is insane. Yeah, I'm gonna use this to tip my lace. All right, so this is how it looks once I've went ahead and tinted it. As you guys can see, it blends in 10 times better. You know, like normally I would just go in and hot comb. I'm not even gonna do that because I really want to keep this install looking natural as possible. I went to Sally's the other day and bought a pack of clips like this to help me pin away some of the hair. And just cut and be sure to create jagged edges. I like cutting close to the hairline. I feel like it's just easier to blend the lace with less lace, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
now we're going in with the Ebon Wonder spray. Ebon Wonder Lace adhesive spray. Y'all know every video, if y'all tune in, y'all gonna know this is all I use. We're gonna push the wig back a little bit just so I can wipe the makeup off my forehead. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and lay my lace down. I'm spraying about two layers of the Evan spray and I just blend it back using my finger. I'm gonna take my blow dryer. I do alternate between warm and cool heat and I wait till it's tacky. Once my finger is able to get a little tacky or stuck to the product and then I go ahead and pull down the lace and align the lace with where I laid the product. I'm gonna make sure I stretch my lace so it's super duper flat, no lumps, no rolls, no nothing. And I do follow up with the end of my comb just to make sure that lace is melted. Y'all cannot tell me y'all don't see how good that looks. So I'm gonna get my elastic band out like this. And I'm just gonna go on top of it with another one, another one. So I put two on. I'm not, I'm not gonna let it sit on long for about three minutes and yeah. Wig where? Wig who? Cause I ain't got on a wig. This is my horror. I ain't got on nobody's wig. I'ma lightly mist my hair as you guys see me doing. I'ma take a little bit of my Aussie conditioner. Y'all, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'ma take some of that and I'm just gonna put it on the hair. Like that and I'ma take my brush and brush and brush your bed. So they like, this is like a half up, half down type of vibe, but I need to fix these baby hairs. Now I'm just going to take some of my Aussie conditioner, y'all, and y'all, I tried this to do my baby hairs and it turned out flawless. Now, since I am using a product like the Ebon Lace Spray, I try not to push it too far into my lace because it will start lifting because that's conditioner and things of that nature. But if I use like lace glue, I'm sure this would be like perfect. Like you won't have to worry about lifting at all. So I did experience a little bit of lifting when doing this method, but I'm telling you conditioning with curly hair, baby, you get the softest, fluffiest baby hairs and they look super duper natural. Now I'm just going in to do my curly hair routine. Like I said, I didn't know what style I was doing with this unit. So I did like I mean, a half up, half down style. And I just pretty much played with this unit. But literally to um, do my curly hair routine, I'm just using water and conditioner. Um, before you go in to detangle your hair, you see the um, other side is fluffy and it's dry. You got to make sure that you wet your hair before you detangle it. If you dry detangle curly hair, it's going to get matted and tangled and it's going to be a mess. Please be sure that you are detangling your hair with water or a conditioner okay do not try to detangle it dry because it's gonna create a rocket so this is all i did to the hair i love 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 this unit 
Um, like I said, y'all seen me do everything from bleaching the knots to actually washing and conditioning the hair and now, you know, pretty much playing around with the styling and all that. I did get shedding with this unit in particular, like his curly hair, of course, is going to shed. So do be mindful of that. Like I said, I didn't get too many tangles because I properly went in to um, detangle the hair so I didn't have problems with that. So I really hope you guys enjoy enjoyed today's video. All information in regards to this unit will be listed down in the description section below. And until my next video, your girl will see you later. Bye, guys.